and uh, okay, good mo good afternoon, good morning to wherever you are in the world. I'm joined today by Lucy Chafer, skeleton athlete for Australia. She's currently in Italy in the European Training Centre in Varese, where the time is 4:30 a.m. Welcome, Lucy, and thanks for getting up early. And we're also <coughs> I and no we're also joined by students from Middle Park Primary School in Victoria, where the time is 2.30 p.m. in the afternoon, and also by students from Sampson Primary School in Western Australia, where the time is 11.30 a.m. So I am going to hand over immediately to Lucy, um, if she can share with us just a, an update, um, spend about five minutes telling us what she's been doing over the last couple of months, where she is, how her training and competition is going, and then we'll move to questions from the students. Over to you. Thank you. Hi. Well, yeah, um, as Francis said, I am currently in Italy at the moment. We came here last yesterday morning. It was a very long day yesterday. Uh, we came from Lake Placid, which is in New York State, which is about six hours from New York City. Um, so I got over to North America on the 2nd of October. So I've been away for about a month now. And since I left Australia, I've been to Calgary, which is in Canada, um, for a week of training there. Then we went to Whistler, uh, which is near Vancouver, which was the site of the 2010 Games. Um, we just did a week of training there and then we started our selection races. So no one had qualified for any of the places on the World Cup or the ICC, which is our second tier circuits um, at the start, end of last year. So we had to race each other to be able to see if we could get onto which circuits. So we started our first race was in Park City, which is in Utah in the United States. Um, and we've been really fortunate that we had really, really nice weather the whole time. And so two weeks ago we had our first, our first race, um, which was an Australian selection race. So there was five girls in that and then five boys as well. Uh, and I ended up coming second by... Two tenths, which is Hi, it's Frances again from the Olympic Committee. We just seem to have lost internet connection with Lucy. Um, I'm hoping she'll come back online in, in just a few seconds. But we've just been joined by students from Evans Primary School in Canberra. Is that right? Give us a wave, students who are who have just joined us from Canberra. No. Okay, well, with the, sorry, the school has just joined us, Paige Matthews. Um, Paige, I can uh, see you, but I can't hear you. A little note's a good idea if you want to hold that up. <laughs> Hang on, Lucy's on her way back, so I'll just pass back to Lucy. We might have a little bit of internet connection with Lucy just because she's overseas. Back to you, Luce. Hi. Hi. That seems better. So I did you hear that I was in Park City? Yeah. Okay, so we had selection race there and I ended up coming second. Um, 
So you needed to be in the top two for to be able to be on World Cup, which is where I wanted to be. Um, so that was okay. Didn't race probably as well as I would have liked to, but second was still where I needed to be. So then we moved on to Lake Placid, which is in New York State. Um, and we trained there for three days, and then the weather got really, really warm, so it was raining at about plus 15, uh, which isn't very good for the tracks. Um, it makes it really hard for the ice to stay on the walls, so part of the ice and part of the track were starting to fall off, which meant that there was concrete. We were going to slide over concrete instead of ice, so they, um, they actually cancelled our training on the day before the race, and then actually cancelled our race day. So just to be able to, for a safety of the track and for ourselves and runners and things like that. Um, but because we'd already had one, it meant that that selection race due to, um, that selection race was the selection race for the World Cup. So that meant that I had done enough and so I'm on the World Cup season for this year, um, which is where I need to be. Thanks. <laughs> um, so then we came over to Italy, and I'm here until tomorrow, and then we go to Russia. We have a training, uh, two weeks of training on the Olympic track in Russia, so that's what I've been doing for the last month. Um, I got to see a bear in Whistler, which was my first time I've ever seen a bear, which is really, really cool, um, and we celebrated Canadian Thanksgiving, and we had, you know, all the trimmings, and I made pumpkin pie, and all of that you know, Canadian-American things, which is lots of fun. Um, yeah, so it's been good. Uh, we haven't had a heap of cold weather yet, which is not too bad. I don't mind not having too much cold weather, but I'm sure that will come. Oh, that's what a great update. Thanks, Lucy. Thanks for sharing that with us. I might uh, move over to the school straight away, and I might invite Middle Park to ask us about five questions and then I'll move to one of the other schools. So over to you, Middle Park Primary. It's Kismet Park. Hmm. Sorry, Kismet Park. Who's going first? Five questions. Okay. Okay. Um, will you be going on a private jet to Russia? <laughs> uh, no, they do have charter jets. Um, our federation with the Federation International Bobsled and, uh, Skeleton, they are chartering flights because it's so hard to get into Sochi, but we actually fly through Istanbul. We're going from Milan, Italy, then to Istanbul, and then we fly into Sochi. So we're not going to be going on a private jet. Yeah. Um, could you look up the information on the sport of Skeleton? Um, there's a couple of people we'll probably look up to. Um, on the boys' side of things, there's the Dukors brothers. They're a Latvian. Um, they're in the Latvian team, and they've been really the ones to beat for the last four years or more than that. Um, and I was fortunate enough; I actually got to train with them this year, so that was a really good opportunity for me to be able to see how they train and see, you know, what do they do to be able to be the best in the world. Um, and on the girls' side of things, there's know a lot of people, Shelley Rudman, who's the current world champion, um, she's always been a really good competitor and, you know, you can always look to her and she she's someone that, you know, she's also a mum and she comes back and she strives and, she, you know, just shows that, you know, she became world champion last year and she's always in the medals. So she's one that um, I probably look up to and, you know, compete against and it's always kind of a, a test of, you're going okay if you can be up there with her and sometimes beat her that you know that sh you're doing all right if you can beat the current world champion at a track. How many schools do you do with Chat to a Champion? Um, three to four, I think. I'm normally at three uh, from around the country. I think there's one in Victoria, ACT and WA from where I'm from. What are your plans after your skeleton career? Good question. Um, I haven't decided when my skeleton career is going to finish yet, so we <laughs> that one's still to come. Um, I'd like to probably go back to, uh, I'm a teacher, so probably go and teach for a little while. Um, not too sure. There's a few other things that I'd like to do. Maybe, you know, see if I can do some cooking or something like that.